Okay, people, so welcome to this video review. Today, we're going to be testing and reviewing two very good headlamps we have side by side the Phoenix HP 11, and in the other hand, we have the LED Lancer H14. Both of them are basically uh, four double a flash a headlamps. When I compare them, so and we're going to review them, so you will be able to know which one of them is fits better your your wishes or what you're looking for when you're trying to choose in between headlamps. Okay, when it, when it comes to the output, first of all, the LED lenser will put out a maximum output 220 lumens, and it will only last for uh, a couple hours, two hours, I think. In the case of the Phoenix, it would put out 277 lumens, and it would last for 3 hours and 50 minutes. So you see there, it's a huge difference between uh, output and battery life. But still, both of them are very bright. When it comes to the in user interface, they are very different. If we start with the LED lenser, you will see that we have the switch button here in the back, uh, or the in the battery pack, and it's quite complicated to get used to it because it has several modes and everything. But so I am most of the time using it just in the most simple mode, which goes like this: you turn it on always in the right brightest level, the high output, then you push it really softly and you go to the low mode and if you are in the high and you push a cap and keep the pressure pressing you will have the dimming function and anywhere you just release it you will have right the amount of light you want but the bad thing is that always when you turn it off you don't have the uh, memor the memory capability so always when you turn it on again it will be in the high mode so it's quite after a while you get a bit exhausted always trying to find uh, your the output you want if you want to use the if you don't want to use the high or the low um, the good thing about this is that it has the as you see there it has the summing function so you will see you can light from a very tight spot beam to a very wide uh, beam. The good thing about it is that you can light very far, but I don't know if you can notice it there. In the in the light, you will have in the borders of the light is very bright, but in the middle it's quite dark. It's a bit darker, so it doesn't have the maximum brightness in the middle of the light where you usually focus your eyes but it has it in the borders. And the other bad thing about the, the beam is that outside of the light you don't see that much so you get a bit blinded if you wanna look outside uh, of the light, circle of light. That's not so good about the focus of, about the beam in the LED lens. Um, when you, if you check the, the Phoenix instead it has the buttons in the front, so that makes it much easier. You have much better and easier access to them, and you will always turn on in the last mode you have because it has the memory mode. So you you have one button for to turn it on and off, and the other button to go switching in between modes. And for example, there I am the lowest. I turn it off. Always when I turn it on, it will be in the high mode. I mean in the last mode I used. Um, so that's pretty good. It also has very easy access to all the flashing modes, the SOS, the stroke. It's very easy. Uh, in, even though the buttons can look quite small, they have very well access, even wearing gloves if you are out in the snow. And the good thing is also that it has the block feature that if you close it, it's almost impossible to press the button. So it's pretty much secure there and if you're carrying it in your backpack uh, it's almost impossible for it to turn on that's not the case of the red lenser that is quite easy to press the button and it will turn on very easily you can't block it when it comes to the straps both of the straps are really well 
constructed, very sturdy. Both of them have the strap on top of your head. What is better about the lenser is the lead lenser is that it has the this elastic uh, cable, which is very comfortable. It's, even though it's quite heavy, it doesn't annoy, it doesn't bother you too much. When it comes to the Phoenix, it is just a simple cable, as you see there. So it's sometimes if you're not wearing a hat, if you're not wearing a helmet or something, you will always have too much uh, cable remaining in the front back and in your front, and that's quite exhausting or not too comfortable sometimes. So that's not too good about it. When it comes to the battery case, both of them are quite different. The Phoenix, you'll see it's a plastic, a very durable plastic uh, case. You have to screw this part and put the batteries in and then you have to screw it again. Uh, it gets very tight, very well sealed against the water. You feel it very sturdy, very very durable and very co it's quite comfortable as well. In the case of the lead lenser it's a rubber, r rubberized cover, also very sturdy and there you have the switch button. And the good thing about it is that as you there it has the battery life indicator so it will tell you how many how much battery you have left it will be green later orange and red and then it will just uh, turn off um, when it comes to the head of the lamp uh, the, the LED lenser has very few positions you will see only only four positions that is not too good about it sometimes you have to it's hard to find the real the final position you want in the light and you have to start moving your own head to light where you want that's not too good um, but the good thing is that the zooming capability gives it makes it quite uh, versatile when it comes to the place you want to light the bad thing anyway about the zooming is that it makes it not too waterproofing to not too waterproof also the ventilation system makes it lose a bit of the waterproofing uh, capability so it will be only APX4 which means yes soft rain not too strong splashing water but anyway it can resist quite well when it comes to the Phoenix you will see that it has Six position that makes it much more versatile when it, and it's very comfortable. You always have a very nice um, angle when it comes to the light position. It has two, two lighting modes. You can use it just like uh, with the without the diffuser. Oh, sorry, without the diffuser, or you can put diffuser in. Most of the time I use it just with the diffuser because without the diffuser the light is not so good but with the diffuser the light is just awesome, it lights everything up, you will see it later in the outdoor video. Uh, the bad thing about the diffuser is that you will see here, I had to put this uh, rubber thing, I mean this band around because I managed to break it a couple of months ago so the flame of the diffuser is not so strong. but um, anyway, after I fixed it a couple months ago, I have been using it in the outdoor, in the rain, in the snow, and it works perfectly well. Uh, uh, so the other bad thing about it is that you will see this little piece, when it use, first use it and you clip it on as part of the diffuser, it will reflect all the light into your head into your eyes so that becomes quite annoying sometimes it can blind you a little bit it's a really failure in the design if it was black for example uh, it wouldn't be any problem so I had to cover it with this uh, black band as well around and ever since I did it I have had I haven't had no problems at all it works perfectly well and the, the light is just awesome in, in conclusion when it comes to the just to the desktop review, in my personal opinion, I think the Phoenix is much better, much more versatile, much more easy to use when it, in comparison with the LED lenser. Both of them are excellent light, both of them are, have an extremely high output, 
but in my case every time I go to the outdoor I want to go in the you know go skiing in the night go just if I need to have a very comfortable light the Phoenix is has a very good quality you will see that it fulfills the light everything not just only one circle of light the diffuser makes the light very good and even though it's not so sturdy it can break not easily but it could break if you have, if you put this thing after I did it, I have been uh, using it in a very hard, harsh conditions, and it just works perfect. So I think now it's, it is now time to go outside, and we can see how these little guys do in the outdoors. Let's go. Okay, people. So here we are in the outdoor. We're going to be testing both of the lights. First, we are going to start with the LED Lenser H14. As you know, there we start always, always in the high mode. It is 220 lumens. As you can see, it's a very nice circle of light, very bright. Uh, you'll see that also it's, it's possible to focus it, as, as I was telling you. So there you go to a very nice uh, spot beam. And you can open the light to uh, to adjust it as an aerial light and it lights very well but the bad thing is that it will last for only uh, two hours in this output so you can switch it that is the low mode it is it is I think uh, 30 lumens and in this mode it will last for uh, 20 hours I think I don't remember too well but so and it, in this output of course it's also zoomable there you see the bad thing is thing is that when you zoom it you don't see you don't see anything out, outside of the spot beam you only see the spot beam there and nothing outside because it's really focused you don't have the focus beam and the aerial light and of course you can go to the high and if I push and keep pressing you'll see that it goes dimming to the very low lowest that's the dog <laughs> to the very highest and I can release it in some point in the middle but as you see I don't know if you can notice that in the borders of the light all around in the border to the edge of the circle is brighter than in the middle so the light tends to be brighter in the border than in the middle of the light so that's a bit awkward after a while you notice that where you want your vision to be focused it's not as bright as in the borders of the circle so you, that is not too comfortable when it comes to the light quality okay so that is the A14 we are gonna see now the Phoenix HP 11 and we're gonna start there we are in the lowest mode maybe you can't see it too well but this is the very lowest mode to my eyes I can see even maybe 10 meters away I can light I can see clear and it it is only uh, I think 55 or 65 lumens and it will I'm sorry no it is only four lumens and it will last for over 200 hours so in four lumens I have had this light turned on in this output for some hours maybe 30 hours and it keeps lighting very well then you go to the middle there you see much better maybe you can't see it too well but with this light I can see very far up to maybe 30 meters and in this output this is uh, I think 65 or 55 I don't remember too well but in this output it will last 25 hours so that is very very much it's more than enough to say battery for the weekend or something then there we are in the high mode in the high mode you have 133 lumens and as you see it's very nice to my eyes it's much brighter than it seems in the video and it would last for almost uh, 10 hours 9 hours and a half uh, nine, 9 hours and a half I think it's very good quality of the light and there you go to the high mode turbo I mean, as you can see, it doesn't only have the circle of light, but it fulfills with light 
all the screen as you can see it doesn't have that focus beam but it's very nice of course it is with the diffuser so if I take the diffuser off that's basically the the light without the diffuser but in my personal opinion it's always better to use it with the diffuser so that is with and this are in this intensity will last for three hours and 50 lumens and 50 minutes now we are going to compare them both side by side so you can have more or less an idea of how they do in the how they are related to each other okay there we have the LED Lancer H14 there we have the Phoenix HP11 H14 HP11 H14 HP11 now we're gonna compare them in the low mode the LED Lancer the low mode is 30 lumens so we're gonna dim a little bit the light maybe there must be around the 60 50 lumens and we go in the Phoenix to the middle mode so you will have there you see LED Lancer Phoenix maybe the LED Lancer is a bit higher output because it's a bit hard to know how many lumens you are getting out of the LED Lancer since you have the dimming function Phoenix there LED Lancer there now we're gonna dim a little bit more there it might be I might be having wait maybe around 100 120 lumens with the LED Lancer as you can see LED Lancer and we are in the high output it is 133 lumens that is the Phoenix Lancer Phoenix LED Lancer LED Lancer Phoenix LED Lancer Phoenix so that's pretty much both of them I hope you like this review thanks for watching